guys welcome back to another video of mine today i will be trying out artisan's reggie burger mix well i got this at the store and i found it it's gluten free and i thought why not try this so without any further ado let's begin so here i am taking a clean bowl and i've added my artisan's veggie burger mix so i've taken two packs of this to those of you wondering what's really there in this mixture i will be telling you what's in it exactly so there are cashews peanuts flour uh, sweet chili seasoning a little bit for flavoring we have uh, garlic tomato paprika a little bit of yeast tract chili onion cumin dried lemon juice dried malt vinegar parsley um, and for some flavoring a little bit of salt so now to this mixture i've added about 200 ml of water i've added a little over 200 ml of water which is about 250 and i'm going to give this a quick mix 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 all right we're going to leave this aside for about five minutes after we are done with giving it a good mix so that all the water gets quickly absorbed into uh, the basin into the powder basically I'm going to take a clean plate and to that I'm going to add some baking parchment paper I'm going to take this mixture and form tiny balls good enough to hold in between your palms dab it between your palms to make these to form these little patties and once done you're going to place them onto the baking paper so I'm going to be following the same step over and over until I'm able to form around eight um, patties. So if you find the mixture a bit gooey, a little sticky, add a little bit of flour. That's what I did exactly because I think I added a little bit of extra water. And once these lovely patties are formed, right now we're going to go ahead with heating up a pan on a medium flame. I'm going to add some olive oil into it. And once it's heated, I'm going to be adding in my patties. So I'm going to leave them over here for about 5 to 10 minutes each on each side. And once it's nice and golden brown, I'm going to be turning it over so that the other side of it also cooks. So now the patties are ready, now let's assemble them into our burger buns. I've got these two small little mini buns, along with that I've got my lettuce and one small tomato, slightly diced. To that I've also got this garlic paste which is easy and affordable. Now since it's a vegan burger I'm going to use these products itself. Going ahead I'm going to be cutting my burgers into half. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the garlic paste on one side of the bun. Place these sliced tomatoes on top of it. And now add the veggie patties on top of it. So guys in this step right now you can add in your garlic paste if you don't have this as an option you could also use cheese layer this with lettuce Now place the buns over the lettuce and give it a little bit of a squeeze. Once done, your burgers are now ready. You could either grill them for a few minutes, if not, you could just leave them as it is. So this is how the vegan burger has come to one plate right now. It's time for a taste test. 
All right, guys. So here goes me trying the vegan burger. This burger had a very nutty, very sweet chili flavor. I liked it in general. But if you wish to try it, go ahead and purchase this product and try it yourself. Till then, have fun.